What's your game then? That's a proper season. Trouble Darling, here. I'm not looking for trouble. I just have joy. a wee thirst, if that's no bother to you. Is that Eddie McMillan? Is that Eddie McMillan? Pray boys broke his legs, fuckers. My legs don't work right. Why doesn't he have crutches? Have you no crutches? I oh, had crutches, but when I woke up, they were gone. Do you think that somebody took them? He was in the class just before me. Friend of yours? He was sweet. He was always saving birds that fell out of nests. I bet I could make you some crutches with a few pointy sticks and some duct tape. Crutches too. What are you waiting for? Make him some crutches. Couldn't be better, thanks. What's your fancy? We're expecting a new shipment any day now, so do check back in a day or two. You have an Asian day, have you? I made you know just some it takes for... You're good. What's your name? I I'm Eddie. Ollie Starkey. You're good, Ollie. You're very, very good. Been a while, hasn't it? I won a game of darts. I'm a real champion. Should clear up soon, I think. Lovely day for it. Sorry, I can't remember what I came here for.
Right. Into you. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Mercy on the elderly. I'm now arrived, thanks to the gods, through pathways rough and muddy, a certain sign that making roads is not this people's study. doing in my playhouse? Margaret. Uh, I was, uh, uh, it was raining. Your legs are all wet. They shot you. You ran and they shot you. You're still drunk. Are you going to haunt me? Do you want me to go away? No, no, please don't. I think you're sitting on Helga. Sorry, Helga. I almost finished her. She's ever so upset about her apron. She likes everything to be just so. Could you finish her for me? Oh, look at all the pretty clothes. Watch out, she's about to go! Oh, no. Another bloody document control. How much we learned from the Germans. Ollie. Looks like a plague whistle did a number on this. You won't get away. 
I told him he'll get a share of the profits, and he bought it. <laughs> Did you? Lovely day to give now. someone the sack, it's isn't so it? Jolly. wondered what life will be like 20 years into the future. That would be the year 1984. Ah, the Department of Senseless yes, Idiotic Research. Away, but 1984 may be closer than you think. At the Wellington World's House of the Future, you can imagine yourself in 1984 when machines will clean your house while you nap. Ah, that'll make your life happy, won't it? And will also have pills that replace food that you'll never have to eat again. Beef Wellington, delicious. Now the inventors at the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research have all sorts of amazing things in store. We'll have typewriters that type the words for you as you say them. And imagine. If anywhere's got hydrogen, it's these bampots. If not, I'm off to the executive committee to fill a bag with hot fucking air. Just bring your favorite records along when you go for a spin in your flying car. And of course. We'll always have our joy. We couldn't do without that, could we? Don't we'll change a bit. Perfect. Just Where do they keep their hydrogen, do you think? This was no accident, I'll wager. 
Go forth and sin no more. The nice guy. You're only making it harder on yourself. takes it out of your shoulders. And there's my hydrogen. Now, I just need to walk out the door and... For fuck's sake, how do I get out now? Get happy. Black dog. Where did you go? Right? Sorry, you had to see that.
Uh, up here, Ollie. I think you can open up the doors from the office. Well, how the hell do I do that? I can't fly up there, can I? Oh, wait, the cannon. Oh, God. Please don't use the cannon. I'm shell shocked enough to this. Just need to make sure it's facing the tower and wind it up. That's a terrible idea. Stop it! And now, I just get in. I hope this doesn't tear off any bits you'll miss later. Why didn't you mention that before? Still got all my bits. They just hurt extraordinarily much. You Who needs right. trains and planes? We ought to have sent the mail by cannon. All right. All right. I I've opened the door. Now, please, just go. Thank you kindly. I'm going to have the worst headache for the rest of the week. Ow! What on earth? Found you right. Found you. There you are. The broadcast tower can't be that far from here. I wonder what the executive committee is up to right now. It's been too long since I've crushed someone's hopes. Did you know I was supposed to be the impractical one? Right, I've had it with you. You're really. That's the guilty bugger. Right there. must be up these well. stairs. The weather is a bit wet, but that's the lovely thing about this weather. The sun always comes out at the end, so come on out, or you'll miss it. Wait here, wait here, everyone. Oh, I don't think I want to try to get past Headmistress while she's on the job. I better shut her down first. Where have they hidden her controls? You know how I would fix everything if I was put in charge? Sorry, ma'am. I need to get upstairs. You'll have to ask someone who has time on her hands.
I need to get upstairs to see the executive committee. They're busy too, I should think. Why don't you ask somebody else? You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Please step away immediately. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Please step away immediately. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Please step away huh? immediately. Where do I turn on the bloody power to the elevator? No more, Mr. Nice Guy. <sighs> ah, there we go. And up I go.